In this video, we're going to look at how to solve simultaneous equations whenever one of the equations is a linear and one of them is a quadratic. So here's the linear one, x plus 2y equals 3, and here's the quadratic one, x squared plus 3xy equals 10. So to solve these, what you want to do is you either want to make x or y the subject of the linear equation and substitute it into the quadratic equation. So uh, let's make, in this equation, it's probably easiest to make x the subject, okay? So we've got x plus 2y equals 3. To make x a subject we need to get rid of the plus 2y so let's take away 2y from both sides of the equation so you get x equals 3 minus 2y. We're now going to substitute that in to the other equation the quadratic one so instead of x squared we'll write in brackets 3 minus 2y squared plus 3 times this in brackets times y in other words we replace the x in this equation with 3 minus 2y. So let's do that. So we would get in brackets, 3 minus 2y squared plus 3, in brackets, 3 minus 2y times y equals 10. So let's expand. Okay, remember whenever you've got a bracket and squared, it means you've got to times the bracket by itself. So actually what I'm going to do is just to be very clear from the method, I'm going to write the bracket out beside itself and use FOIL to expand it, plus um, 3 times 3 minus 2y times y equals 10. So expanding this part would give you 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times minus 2y would be minus 6y. Minus 2y times 3 would be minus 6y. And minus 2y times minus 2y would be plus 4y squared. So we've expanded the bracket plus Actually, I'm just going to rearrange this before expanding it. I'm just going to bring the y beside the 3. So I'm going to make call it 3y bracket 3 minus 2y equals 10. Uh, let's simplify this slightly. So we'd get 9 minus 12y plus 4y squared. And let's expand. So 3y times 3 would be plus 9y. And 3y times minus would be minus, or minus 2y would be minus 6y squared equals 10. Simplifying this then would give you, uh, whenever you simplify it, you've got um, 9 uh, minus 12y plus 9y would then be uh, minus 3y and 4y squared take away 6y squared would be minus 2y squared equals 10. We then rearrange this slightly so you would get, whenever you bring the 10 across to this side and take it away, you would get minus, I'm just going to put the minus 2y squared at the beginning, so you'd get, I'm just going to go up uh, up here, okay, so you would then get, um, taking the 10 away from both sides, so you're going to get minus 1, so you get minus 1, minus 3y, minus 2y squared equals 0, you obviously want to make it equal to 0, so then it's a quadratic and you can factorise, hopefully, uh, let's times 3 by minus 1, so then that would give you 2y squared plus 3y plus 1 equals 0. Okay, so we've substituted uh, x equals 3 uh, subtract 2y into the quadratic one, and we've just expanded and simplified, and you'll always have to expand and simplify whenever you substitute it in. I've tried, uh, then got my quadratic and I've brought it, put it equal to 0, so let's factorise this. So factorising this would give you, because you've got 2y squared, you're going to have a 2y and a y, and you've got plus 1, so it's going to be plus 1 and plus 1, and then that would give you, yep, the 3y in the middle. So that means that here you've got 2y, because of the times together to give you 0, that means that it, um, either one of them is 0, so you've got 2y plus 1 equals 0, and this one's easy, you can just see y would equal minus 1. Here, take the 1 away, so you're going to get 2y equals minus 1, half it, y equals minus a half. So we've got two solutions there, we've got the y equals minus 1, or y equals minus a half. Now you've got those, you're going to substitute those back into the equations. I would substitute these two back into the top equation myself, and that would be the easiest one. So let's do that. So when y equals minus 1, into here you'd get x minus 2 equals 3, so x equals 5. Whenever y is equal to minus a half, you substitute that in, so you're going to get um, x minus 1 equals 3, so x equals 4. So we've got our pairs of solutions then. So our solutions would be whenever um, you get 
x equals 4, y equals minus a half, or x equals 5, y equals minus 1. We've got x plus y equals 11 and x, y equals 30. So let's again make x or y the subject of the linear one. So x plus y equals 11. So let's make either x or y the subject. It doesn't really matter which one you make the subject in this case. So let's make y the subject. So here we would get uh, taking x away from both sides then would leave you with y equals 11 minus x. So we've now made y the subject of the top uh, of the linear equation, the top equation. And we're going to substitute that into the second one. So we're in a, instead of y, we're going to write 11 minus x. So we and put that in brackets. So you've got x instead of y, put in brackets 11 minus x, and then that equals 30. Expand your brackets. So you're going to get 11x minus x squared equals 30. And then uh, because it's useful to have your quadratic so that the x squared is positive, I'm actually going to um, add x squared to both sides and subtract 11x from both sides. In other words, bring both of these across to the other side. So then that would give you 0 equals x squared minus 11x plus 30, and that equals 0. So let's factorize that. So bracket, 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 bracket. If you'd have x, x, uh, because it times together to give you 30, add together to give you minus 11, it's going to be minus 5 and minus 6, and that equals 0. So either x equals 5 or x equals 6. So we've got these two, two solutions, so then let's find out what y would be for those. So you've got x plus y equals 11. So whenever x equals 5, well, if x equals 5, y would be equal to 6. 5 plus 6 is 11. Whenever x is equal to 6... Well, y is going to be equal to 5. So there's your solutions.